Anand Rai's Raksha Bandhan, starring Akshay Kumar, the other big letdown at the box office in the midst of work on Bollywood calls, is a hugely disappointing film, apart from being a seasoned festival spoiler. On the day of Raksha Bandhan, this film gets released. One would have thought that uh, a film like Raksha Bandhan, released on Raksha Bandhan Day, would celebrate sibling strength, the relationship between a brother and a sister. Unfortunately, if you run through the thread thematically of the film, it's about a brother's commitment to get his sisters married at any cost. But most often than not, he looks at them as a burden. While he does everything for them, no doubts about it. It's a character which perhaps is lacking in sensitivity. He body shapes. He rips them apart on various aspects. There are hardly moments of empathy that he shares with three of the four sisters that he has. And this is Raksha Bandha. It's such a shelved story that even the archives would put it in the backyard. It's the story about a brother who inherits the burden of having to get multiple sisters married. One fat sister, one uneducated sister, one dark sister. So these are the stereotypical negatives on the basis of which you look at girls in the matrimonial market. True, it may be still relevant. But then, today, to be making a film of that kind, and when you talk of Raksha Bandhan, you think of Rakhi, you think of Kajal, the films like Rakhi, Vahida Rahman, you think of uh, the Balrat Sahani Nanda film, or you think of Meena Kumari and Dharmendra and Kajal, and then you have Akshay Kumar in this Raksha Bandhan film. Hugely disappointing in terms of script, in terms of direction, in terms of acting. Everybody's over the top, everybody's shouting. Every, it's so chaotic. You can't have a breather in the film. And then you have somebody called Shamu Sharma, who's some kind of a marriage fixer. Seema Pava, please give us some more respect and give us some talented, talent demanding roles. The one person who I think warrants some empathy is Neerad Sood, who plays the heroine's father who's sick and tired of having to wait for the, the groom to come home because the groom is committed to getting his sisters married while the father is concerned that his daughter, Swapna, played by Bhumi Pidnegar, is aging and he's about to retire. So the whole two-hour film, and thank you for small. Thanks for small mercies. The film ends in about two hours' time. So you can go for Raksha Bandhan after you see the movie. And you have no peace in the movie. Obviously, the footfalls in the movie aren't high. For wrong reasons, though. And I think Bollywood needs to get its act together. They're going through tough times. Akshay Kumar is the main role. I'll come to that later, before which I need to talk about Bhumi Pednekar. Her half-hearted attempt at turning into a typical commercial heroine falls flat. I don't think she has anything original to offer in this movie. It's a come down for a good actor. So far as Akshay Kumar is concerned, he's predictable. He's aging. He has his moments in he hams well. He hams, his ham has become so intrinsic that sometimes you like it. He has a sense of humor, he has a sense of timing. But this script is too much of baggage for Akshay to carry. He fails to deliver in the ultimate analysis. Raksha Bandhan, as I said, is no movie that you should be seeing around the season of Raksha Bandhan. I'll sign up. With thanks to Abhinav and Datu, and hope to catch up with you on other films. So long, bye bye.